Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my vlog, just Jenny. Um, I haven't been on here for a, a little while. I've had lots of things going on um, over the last couple of weeks and I've not kind of felt strong enough to do um, a vlog and I've not really, I hadn't really planned um, anything uh, vlog-wise for a little while. So this is the first time I've vlogged for a couple of weeks. Um, in this vlog I've already got notes about this so if I look down it's because I'm reading my notes because I'm not in my usual place where I film. Um, I'm just up in my room where it's a bit more private and I have space to myself. So this um, vlog I really wanted to talk about what I wish people understood about autism. Now this is a really hot topic for me. Um, there are a few things that I've written down. I've got one, two, three, four, I've got about five points. But all five of these points that I'm going to make are quite big points for me. So the first one is, um, it's nice to be included in plans, but it's also having the option to not go. So, um, you know, being invited to work things, um, work events, um, going out after work, uh, for meals, um maybe even just for a drink or a chat, things like that. Um, it's having that option to be included and feel included, but also have that option to be like, well, if you don't want to come, we actually understand. So it's having that option. So therefore you're not feeling pressured. Um, and also it's about, you know, there's this misconception that as you're autistic, you don't want to have friends, you don't want to go out, you don't want to socialise, but that's so not true. Um, for me, in particular, and I can, I've said this before in all of my vlogs, that I speak for me and I speak for my own experiences. I don't speak for every other autistic person. Um, I wouldn't do that because we're all individuals. But for me, you know, I still want friends and I still do want to socialise, but it's about, for me, finding the right places to socialize and the right amount of time that I want to socialize and and a place that I can socialize and be me without the environment or the place kind of harming my senses almost um so yeah so that's that's that one um the next point I've got written down here is giving hints oh my life I don't know how many times um I've had conversations with people or or I've seen people and when they talk to me they just kind of give me these cryptic hints and I'm kind of like what am I supposed to do with that you were giving me a hint and I'm supposed to take it but I don't even fully understand it so I kind of wish people understood that don't give me a hint if you're going to tell me something just be black and white tell me straight up tell me exactly what you want me to do or what it is you want to say just say it straight up because like I've put here giving a hint to me is totally bloody alien I have no clue about hints trust me I would miss the most subtle of things um so that's another good one um the next point I've made here is uh I really need structure and I really need stability um this is huge um for me it's a big thing uh i like the structure i like the the stability because it's not just that it's stable it's also that it's familiar so it's the familiar familiarity i really can't say that but it's being familiar about a place about what you're going to do um about your day where you're going to be um all those kinds of things and the fact is that I can't cope with change or last minute plans so you can't just dump something on me last minute and expect me to say yeah I'll do that no problem because actually what that really does to me is that causes me a great deal of anxiety and then I worry about it all day and I worry and I worry and I won't necessarily know what it is you want me to do but I'll go along with it because I feel I can't say no um so yeah, I don't do well with last minute plans or changes to my routine. Small talk. Oh, it's so draining. I am not one of these people who can sit in a room with people and be sociable and know what to say in these small talk times. Um, You know, 
I kind of, I've learnt the script almost, so I've learnt, you know, we talk about the weather or we talk about what we did last night or um, what we watched on the telly or what good films were on. I've kind of learnt the script, so I've kind of learnt what to slot in where. To be socially, I've put here, to be socially acceptable because, um, like I've written here, I'd rather not say anything sometimes in these times of small talk because... It's not something I'm familiar with. It's not something I'm good with. Um, it's not talking about something that I know a great deal about. Um, and I don't necessarily know when it's my turn in the conversation. I'm not very good with these things. Um, you know, sometimes I can think something when somebody's having this conversation, if we're having it in a little group, and I can think something and I instantly just want to shout it out and say it because it's in my brain and I need to say it right now because if I don't, I forget. Or the moment's gone and I should have said it, but now I can't say it because we've moved on. So that's why sometimes I sit silently and I don't say much and people must think I'm really, really rude or, or um, people must think I'm absolutely boring um, because to be honest instead of having small talk I would much sooner have a deep and meaningful conversation that that way I kind of almost feel fulfilled because there was a purpose to the conversation that we were having um lastly this is all of these have been huge I've said oh this is huge this is huge but all of these points are really big um but this one is this is a pretty big one. I've written background noise. I can't tell you the amount of times when I have... If somebody's walked out of a door that has previously been shut, so they've opened the door, walked out, but then left the door open, I can't tell you how many times I've got up and I have shut that door behind that person. And people must think I'm I'm crazy, I'm nuts, but to me it makes sense. If a door is shut and you open it and walk out, you should shut the door behind you because that's what you do. Plus, for me, it shuts out all that noise from outside of the room because I hear a lot more than a neurotypical person does. I, You know, the, the smallest of sounds, like the lights buzzing I can hear them um you know uh something out in the way out in the corridor I can hear you know and people kind of I don't think they kind of get that um so I'm easily disturbed by sound um so sometimes if um if there's a room and it's quite noisy but there's a little group who's having a conversation and somebody says something to me I very often will say to them sorry what was what was that and I ask them to repeat the conversation. I ask them to repeat what they've said. And I do this two or three times. But it's genuinely because I can't hear. I can't hear what you're trying to say to me because all of that background noise is processing in my brain. And I'm trying to separate all these noises, but I can't. My brain is wired differently to a neurotypical person. So my brain doesn't... Um, filter out all of these noises that a neurotypical person's would it kind of everything's going on all at the same time so it's all swirling around it's all happening and I can't just flick a switch and turn that sound off because I don't need to hear that I can't I, you know if I could do that and switch off all the sounds and only play the sound that I needed like that person's conversation oh the world would be oh honestly be incredible but I can't do that my brain won't do that so it won't allow me to hear lots of things going on and me to isolate one thing I can't I can't isolate sounds it's like at night I can lay in bed and I can have the windows shut I can have um I've got little vents across the windows um at the top and I can have all of the windows shut all of the vents shut and at night I can lay in bed and this is no word of a lie I can hear cars from um, out on the road, um, a couple of roads away, um, I can hear car doors slamming, honestly I can hear lots of things at night and I'm so easily distracted that some nights it is really really tough for me to get to sleep because I hear all of these noises and sometimes I can hear like um, you know other people so I can hear people having conversations outside or um, you know if there's someone um, 
I don't know, a couple of houses away, at, banging or, you know, or maybe next door or whatever. I can hear all of those things and it's so hard for me to kind of say, right, I'm going to switch that off now because I need to go to bed. Because my brain doesn't switch off like that. It's not, my brain is just not programmed like that. Um, so there you have it. That was um, just a few of the things um, that for me, uh, I wish people understood about autism. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you do like this video, then please subscribe to my channel because my channel is all about content about autism and educating and spreading the acceptance of autism. Um, and if you want to drop a comment, drop me a comment in the comment section below or find me on Facebook as just Jenny um, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.